What's up guys, this is Cody here with iPhoneHacks.com and today I'm going to be showing you how to get an untethered jailbreak on your iPhone 3GS, iPhone 4, and iPod Touch 4th generation running iOS 6.1.3 and 6.1.5. Now the first thing that you do have to do is get a tethered jailbreak on your device using either Red Snow or Snow Breeze. And I'm going to show you how to do that in this video. But if you already are tethered jailbroken, then I'll put a link right here as an annotation so you can skip ahead to the part of the tutorial that you need. Now if you're on a mobile device and you're watching this, I'll put a link in the description below for you guys as well. Now if you haven't seen how to jailbreak iOS 6.1.3 then it's really simple. You do need to get the latest version of Red Snow and I'll put a link in the description below for you guys to download that as well as iOS 6.0. Now notice I'm saying 6.0. You want iOS 6.0 in order to do this jailbreak. So I'll put a link in the description below for you guys to go to IPSW Downloader and you just select your device and then select your IPSW, download it right there if you don't already have it. So once you have the iOS 6.0, IPSW, as well as Red Snow, then we're just going to go ahead and open up Red Snow. Now make sure that your device is plugged in right here, and I recommend to back up your device if you haven't already. I have a fresh restore on this iPhone, and I always like to do my jailbreaks like that. But let's go ahead and get started. Now the first thing that you want to do is make sure that your device is connected right here. It says iPhone 6.1.3, which is what I'm running right now. And we're going to click on Extras, and then you're going to click on Select IPSW. And then you're going to point it to the IPSW that you downloaded, which is iOS 6.0. So go ahead and open that up. I have it saved to my desktop just so it's easy to access. And then it should say that it has been successfully identified. So go ahead and click OK. And now what we're going to do is go back and we're going to click Jailbreak. Now before it actually starts to go through the process, you are going to have to put your device into DFU mode. But let's make sure that Install Cydia is ticked and then we'll click Next. And now this is where you're going to put your device in DFU mode. So what you want to do to do that if you haven't done so, you're going to first turn off your device. So let's go ahead and do that. And then once that dial completely stops, which it has right now, we're going to hold down the power button for 3 seconds, then hold down the home button for 10 seconds, and then let go of the power button and then continue holding that home button. So let's go ahead and do that. So ready? One, two, three. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Let go of the power button, continue holding that home button down until it kicks into DFU mode. All right, so it automatically went into the next step. That means that you are indeed in DFU mode, so you can go ahead and put your device down and let it continue through the reboot. All right, so now that it's booted up, you're gonna see if we unlock the device that there's not going to be Cydia anywhere. So what you have to do is actually boot tethered. So what we wanna do is close out of Red Snow completely and then open it back up. And then we're going to go back into extras. We're going to select IPSW and we're gonna point it to that IPSW once again, the iOS 6.0, click open, click okay. And then we're going to click on just boot. And now you're going to put it back into DFU mode. So I'm going to turn off the device. Wait till that dial is completely gone. And then we're going to start putting it in DFU mode. So ready? One, two, three. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Let go of the power button, continue holding that home button down. And then once it kicks into DFU mode, it should go ahead and go on to the next step on your computer. All right, so there it's exploiting with Lime Rain. So that means we're good to go and we can let go of the device. All right, so now that it's completely booted, you can see if we unlock our device, you can see Cydia right there. So let's go ahead and open this up. Let's identify that we are users. I'm going to tap done. Just for safety, let's go ahead and click complete upgrade so we can upgrade that. Tap confirm. Let this download.
All right, so since you have to reboot your device, you are going to have to reboot it tethered. So go ahead and do that. I'm gonna skip it this time, but just do it the exact same way that I just showed you. All right, guys, so once you've tether booted, all you wanna do is go ahead and open up Cydia, then you're gonna tap on Manage, and then tap on Sources, because we're going to add a repo. Tap Edit, Add, and then just type this in, repo dot I hate snow dot com now make sure that you put I H eight S N zero W for I hate snow and then tap add source then once it's done updating the sources we can go ahead and download the untethered package Alright, so now it's done, so tap return to Cydia. Just tap on search down here at the bottom, and you're going to type in P0, and it should go ahead and pop up right there P0SIXSPWN. So once that pops up, tap on that, and you can see that I actually already downloaded it, but here is the modify button. It should say install for you, so just go ahead and tap install, and then tap confirm. And then once this is done, it should be completely untethered. All right, so to test it out, what we're gonna do is go ahead and turn off the device. And then we'll try to boot it back up and open up Cydia. And if Cydia works, then we know that the untethered worked. All right, so now it booted up. Let's swipe over to Cydia, open it up, and Cydia didn't crash. So we know that the untethered package worked. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and if you did, please hit that like button. If you want to see more of my videos, then go ahead and subscribe. Alright guys, until next time, this is Cody with iPhoneHacks.com.